I am Scott Stein at CES 2013. Now, gaming has become a surprising theme of this show, and Razer is here showing off a final development of something that we'd seen a bit of last year in something called Project Fiona. This is a Windows 8 gaming tablet called the Razer Edge. It has a 10-inch screen. It has NVIDIA G4 640 MLE graphics, and it starts as low as $999. It's going to be available starting Q1 of this year. What's really interesting about this is not just that it has the gaming punch, but the fact that this has a wide variety of connected peripherals. You've got a gamepad that's available in a bundle up to $14.99 for this edition, um, which has you know really console-like controllers here and analog pads, uh, and feels like a handheld. You've also got a future forthcoming keyboard peripheral. And now, the Razer Edge is not just a gaming tablet. It's really being looked at as a connected console. And the dock connection accessory uh, makes it so. You can connect it to your TV, output to resolutions up to 720p, and it's got HDMI and connects up to two controllers so you can play split-screen gaming in your home or even use it to stream movies to your TV. Um, a really versatile device, plus there's an extended battery pack if you want it, all sorts of different gaming modes. Now, at this show, you're definitely looking at stuff that's beginning to look at where the future of gaming lies. What's nice about the Razer Edge is it's ready to go right now. Um, with PC gaming, really all of these modes don't require any sort of future SDKs or, or future developments. Um, it, it's a, it's a ready-to-go tablet, and it's really not priced all that high compared to what you'd expect for a, a device that's crowdsourced and it's kind of almost an experimental device. I'm Scott Stein, and this is a look at the Razer Edge gaming tablet at CES 2013. So I'm Rich Brown. I'm here to talk about the PC gaming aspects of the Razer Edge. Now you can see from this setup here, it looks a lot like a desktop setup. There's a keyboard, mouse. The screen is maybe a little smaller than you might be used to in a uh, traditional desktop arrangement, but you can always output this system uh, to a higher resolution. It'll go all the way up to 1920 by 1080. The only thing you have to really worry about is that the higher the resolution, the lower potentially the performance. Now, Razer did let us look at the options for Dishonored, and it's set up at 13 by 7 on the screen. It's a native resolution, but it really looks great. It plays smooth. If you wanted to go bigger, I don't think it would suffer that much of a performance hit. So while this is definitely a tablet, we've seen a bunch of different ways you can use it. What's pretty encouraging for PC gamers is that you can, in fact, use this as a desktop PC. It'll take a little getting used to, probably, but it's really not a bad setup. So I'm Rich Brown. That was Scott Stein. We're here at CES, and this is the Razer Edge.